So yesterday we had this country coach come in. It's an RV built on a Gillig chassis. Um, we got into it. We found all kinds of problems. We had like loose wheel bearings, Let's do that again. Yep. Um, bad wheel seals. They had put on the wrong wheel seal and Impressive. tore them up. Um, everything was just a mess. Leaky wheel seals in the front because these seals were so damaged. Uh, that means the bearing preload wasn't set right. It was just, it was a nightmare up there. We've had a, a bad kingpin that we replaced. A ton of playing this kingpin. So we had to replace this kingpin yesterday. So we did all this work on the front end. We want to get it out of the shop today for a test drive. And then we're going to get it on the road. We're going to back it into the shop so we can work on the rear end today. But it'll be backed into the shop where it's a little bit warmer back there for us. Yeah, it's the first time I driven this time. I am back at camera functioning <laughs> since I've been messing with the dash. All right, we ready? Yeah. Just careful of the tree on the left. I see it. Do a little, just a slight little brake check here, just to get a feel for it. Boy, it sure looks beautiful out. You wouldn't know it's 29 degrees or whatever yeah. it is. Was the driveway much better coming up today than yesterday? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better. I couldn't believe that, that most of that happened the night before. Yeah, that's a trouble with living on a driveway like that, isn't it? <laughs> Looks nice and smooth this morning. Yes it does. You did good. It's only two trips with the tractor with the box blade. One was pretty good. I just decided to do it a second time. I hadn't done it in it's been over two months. Oh really? Was in pretty good shape then for that. or something. <laughs> something new. It's in the interior though, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you got a cup in the sink. I think that's what that could be it. My wife takes care of that. Yeah, I got dishes in the sink I can put away. Yeah. Feel anything different in the front end or no? No. I'm really surprised you didn't notice that wheel bearing that loose. That's. No, feels the same. That's why I say it drove nice before. I just uh, didn't like the way it stopped. Even that kingpin play, you should notice that in your steering wheel right now. You should feel no, it's always felt tight. Not much. Uh, Imagine it got worse. Well, that goes to show you, you just got to get in there and look at stuff because oh, obviously yeah. you couldn't feel it. <laughs> and that was pretty severe. Well, you like that brake, huh? Pack brake? Yeah. <laughs> I leave it on. <laughs> hey. It does a good job. It really 
You wouldn't believe how much trouble we had with that, huh, Bob? Yeah. I had sticking, so I took it off and did all kinds of, you know, checked it. It was loose and everything seemed fine on it. And we put it back together, getting that seal. Yes. Uh, it drops to 30 as you start to go up the hill up there. Is it 30 all the way through town? Uh, sometimes I think it drops down to 20. I saw the 30 when I was coming in, but it was after I was through town and just for a few feet. Yeah, you, you missed a 20 before that then. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I'm glad there wasn't any. I never saw that one. TPMS beeping or something, or what? Was that your turn signal? Is that what that was? Yeah, turn signal. Oh. Sometimes when it's cold, TPMS is like the. Mine makes that kind of a noise. What is it? The tire pressure monitor system. You don't have. Are you? you yeah, do, I have. You do it, have it. Yeah. But I don't have turn going. I know I've got the one that's got that battery, so it'll be. So the front end doesn't feel any better, but it doesn't feel any worse either, correct? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it might feel just a hair better. You know, it's it was it drove so nice before. It's well, as the people watching and would have at least seen if you just jack that front end up with that big pry bar and kind of wiggle things around. You know, you can do that with a broom handle or something like that and just get a feel for it. You know, you shouldn't hear any clunks and moves yeah. like that. So it's a roundabout, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to go straight through it and then make a left to come back around the old courthouse there. The reason I knew that is because I've seen you take other buses on this tour many times. Yes, this is the, the route. Yeah, it just, well, you were used to driving it, and that's and how it, it felt. And it, it didn't wander it, 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 it wasn't a crazy amount of play, but it was there. And you just, oh, I sometimes you think with the heavy vehicles, they just, they're like that a little bit. Maybe not quite like your car as far as responsiveness on the wheel. And stay pretty far to the left here when you make the right, because that pole will jump out at you. And I would definitely recommend waiting to the green light. I don't know if it's no turn on red here, but... Oh, there's a no turn on right? I don't think there is, but it's kind of dangerous because you can't see. Yeah. Of course, the guy behind me will probably be getting excited. <laughs> it changes pretty quick. It's getting ready to go green now. This thing is 38 feet, is that what it is? Yeah. That's a good size because... And it measures are almost exactly 40 feet. Yeah. So I don't know why they do it that way, whether they're measured without bumpers or whether there was some kind of a, you know, whether 40 feet made them pay some other thing or something. I don't know. Maybe they were required to have a tag at 40. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think the 102 wide includes your mirrors either, which... No, the mirrors... And if you read the stuff, that makes the mirrors illegal. That's what I thought, yeah. That's what I was... <clears throat> allegedly. Let's go with allegedly. <laughs> it's illegal without the mirrors, too, so yeah. you're kind of <laughs> well, I guess I got nobody right behind me, so that Oh, it is this lane you get in. This one's a, kind of a weird one. Center line so just have a little bit of an air leak over here. Yeah, the, uh, that hinge is broken and you can't buy that hinge anymore. So I'm going to have to take that hinge off and try to take weld all the 
brought to you this back. Well, we know a guy, Corey at Iconic Metalworks. He's in Central Tennessee here. He can do just about anything, fab it new or repair it. So if you're looking for somebody to do something like that. I got two brothers. I can do it. It's just I haven't taken off to do it. I'm waiting for the door to fall off. Yeah. I can hear over here. Yeah, 90% yeah. <laughs> of that job is going to be getting the door off. Those hinges probably won't want to come off. Well, it doesn't look like it would be hard to get off, but uh, looks can be deceiving. Was that factory or did you yeah, do that? Factory. Okay. I would never put something like turn on my side by side, if you put the hazard lights on, it beeps like like a backup beeper. The whole time the hazard lights are on, it's very annoying. Oh, this is so beautiful out here. We lost all of our leaves already, though. Well, they didn't want you to run the engine for idle forever either, so it's got a beeper that goes off and on on it. It's leave it sitting idle. <clears throat> Got a few people complain about your use of the letter G in the word Cummins last night. <laughs> it sounded like you said Cummings. Oh, me? Yeah. Hey, it's my engine. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call it what I want. <laughs> you, should, you should put a sticker on it. Cummings. <laughs> Very seldom use the brakes on the pack brakes working. Yeah, that thing that thing is impressive. I'm used to the jakes that we have on the two strokes and they're not nearly as effective as that. So well I didn't feel or hear anything weird going on in your bus. So we'll uh we'll do that turnaround maneuver again and then back you into the shop and we'll get your rear end up in the air and check out the back end and then open there. side here. If you cut that right corner, high center. Kind of aim your nose over towards the side by side. Okay. That'll, that'll make the back out a little bit easier. Or you can go next, aim, aim more towards Kelly's car. Looking good. Oh, I don't know about the hill. <laughs> it comes with its own tow bar. If you got to be towed, you can hook it up and tow the bus with that. Should be our tires.
pulling the, the last axle coming off here. Pretty easy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, you want to get a couple of rags? Pull this axle shaft, please. Kel, can you grab me a couple more paper towels? Please? Yes, he's done. Bring the socket yet or no? Yeah. Where's it at? Big gray, sorry. Spins. It doesn't lock in the lock. It's supposed to lock in there and then it can't spin. I was wondering. That. That's very bizarre. Okay, now let's see how this is adjusted. I should only be able to turn this just a tiny bit. That's it. It's almost like grease. Tyler, hand me a little pick. Scoring or anything. Nice and smooth, shiny. See, there's a front one in the front here, uh -huh. and there's a skinny one in the back. 
Oh, it's not all one shoe. And then a big one in the back and, and a skinny one in the front. So we have a leaky wheel seal here. This is uh, driver's side, rear axle. It's just starting. It's not really on the brakes much. It's just starting to get up under the brakes, but nothing on the linings. And then you can see some wet spots there. So got to it just in time before it got real expensive. You probably have the longest S cam I've ever seen too. Look how long that thing is. That's a good eight, 18 inches long probably. <laughs> That's People ask how much these repairs cost. This particular bus, this job here, was right around $2,000. That included all the parts and labor. So that was a kingpin getting replaced, wheel seals getting replaced, three of them. Um, the wheel bearings getting adjusted on all four uh, corners, a uh, complete lube job, uh, just general inspection, all that kind of stuff. So just to give you an idea, I was in the shop for two days, and uh, that's what got done. <laughs> Up the holler through the trees And from a mile away You can hear them play As they climb that hill with ease At the top of that mountain There's a new life waiting For those who can make the run They can make it to the top Scott will put them in the shop Till their new life has begun Where the buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 